All right, guys. I figured I'd make this uh, video for you. you know, I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, been sort of crippled up. So, uh, Seth, pay attention. Sit up. It's in front of the class for you, buddy. We're gonna uh, seal this off with some sealer, some light gray. Uh, we already wiped it down, tacking it off with our hand. We'll blow it off a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put our base on. We're gonna clear these panels. We're gonna blend the tops of the quarter panels. We have the seal over here. We had a little uh, clear peeling issue. I'll take care of. And uh, so uh, we have an emblem down at the bottom there, and a little uh, sticker we need to save. There's a dent in this hood, so you guys when you see the dent don't freak out. I want the dent fixed. Just uh, make it shiny. Alright, so uh, hopefully the battery lasts for this. This looks like metal, but it's not. It's the chromate finish that we talked about. Now I just got into the surface of it, so uh, it's not bare steel. Uh, we'll be able to seal that down. I'm going to put two coats of sealer on. Uh, if you're having trouble with the sealer uh, going on Peely, the fluid tip's either too small for the sealer. I use a 1.5. Uh, sealer's pretty thick. You can reduce it a little bit with about 5% reducer if you want to thin it out. You know, that'll make it uh, flow out a little nicer. Uh, if you turn the pressure up, you can only get the pressure so high. Uh, basically, the the gun can only handle so much pressure if it's HVLP, so uh, most of the guns that I use are, uh, they're called compliant guns, they're not true HVLP guns, uh, the Sokola, the clear gun is, but the uh, Develbus uh, GTI I believe is, but it's got a large 1.5 tip on it and the plus is and it's a conventional uh, type spray gun. So. So we got our jams all taped off. We got everything done. I got some sealer mixed up in there. Let's go put it in the gun and uh, see what happens. So this is the sealer we're using. It says in the manual that it'll uh, cover a 400 to uh, I think 600 scratch. Uh, we're getting ready to go over a 180 scratch. Uh, I told you guys I take this stuff to the limit. So if you guys follow directions, you should get uh, absolutely uh, beautiful results. So this is a 2K sealer. What that means is it takes a hardener activator. It's a four to one. It is a little on the thick and sticky. If you'd like, you can put up to 5% reducer in it. It says right on the can though, 4 to 1. So, if you're having to put reducer in it, it's because your, uh, your gun doesn't have the proper air cap fluid tip set up for the sealer. Uh, I know the uh, finish line developers sprays that sealer very well. Uh, or the starting line, not the finish line. So. Uh, it's an entry line gun. We're going to be using the. Uh, develop this GTI, so let me set you guys down for a minute. Here we go. Mm. See the light 
brakes aren't working too good there. So you can halfway see that, so it'll be good. so you can see how this goes on. There we go. This is going over 180 guys so if you're finishing 400 320 600 this stuff will lay on like a sheet of glass so this gives us a minute to flash we won't wait the full 15 minutes because uh, I think the bus comes in like 30 minutes so gotta hurry up here so, yeah Try to knock this one out quick. And uh, see how it turns out. This is just a real quick one. Typical though, strip and shoot, you know. Don't want to spend any money. And uh, you know, if you were doing a proper repair, you would uh edge prime that, you put uh, some sort of a 2K primer on it and uh, sand it the next morning and uh, seal it and shoot it. So we've eliminated the weight overnight, prime it and sand it, and we've gone right to the seal and shoot it. Uh, that's what it's all about with a used car, man. It's, uh, you're not married to it, somebody's gonna buy it. And uh, if you don't learn how to do it fast, somebody else will. So. so we'll give that a few minutes. Can't make this video very long. We're at the eight minute mark. We better go ahead and hammer that and go to color. So. Uh, I mixed way, way too much sealer up for that. Need some sealer, Jeff? What? I said you need some sealer? No. It's a shame, man. I got a big cup of it over here. I mixed too much. You should take a part of your car off every morning and just put it over here, you know?
give it the Johnny Cash paint job. Take it down there to make them, man. They'll hook you up for three hundred twenty dollars. Huh? No comment. And yeah, make those having a special, man. Three twenty for a full size truck. So we're doing like three or four of them for us. Make our jobs are looking good, Jeff. Somebody don't buy it.
Let's go to base. So we'll let that set up a minute. And, uh, back for some more. Oh man. Alrighty, where are we at on time? Mm -mm -mm. I can't see the time. 17 minutes. We're good. I was looking at the wrong line there. Whoops. I'm going to my toolbox. So anyway, I <clears throat> just wanted to say the type of gun that you're using uh, might be giving you the orange peel. If you didn't get orange peel with your clear coat, you uh, probably would want to use that setup for your sealer. As, uh, uh, the sealer is very close to the body of a uh, you know, heavy body clear and uh, you want to spray it sort of in the same fashion. You know, uh, spray the sealer like you want it to look, sort of like we're putting the clear down. Uh, you know, uh, orange peel usually only comes from the product being too thick for the, the gun to transfer the product to the fluid tip or the pressure being too low. And, uh, when you use the HVLP gun, you're sort of limited to about 10 pounds, 12 pounds of the cap. So, uh, even though you're turning the regulator up, it's not getting it through the gun. So, I know the Segola. The Segola sprays right at about 27, 28 pounds clear and uh, it's a 1-4 uh, fluid tip and uh, I'm not really sure you know, about the cap. Uh, it just says 4500 or 4400 extreme on it. It's got an orange ring in it. And uh, I prefer this gun, you know, for clear coat. It seems to work for me best. I like the Fender the starting line gun works good for clear cut too. Uh, I don't know why, but it seems to be a really good versatile gun. I like it better than my uh, the Belvis Plus. Uh, here's the Plus. Uh, the Plus is a uh, Send me a 1.4. I think that might be the sweet spot for this guy. If, uh, my 1.5 and the plus run stuff, and, uh, or in the GTI, the one I use for base. If I have to use that for clear, I usually get run. So. so, anyway, let's go out there and put another coat on this.
It's about 78 today, I guess. Pretty warm in here. It's kicking pretty quick. Nice and fast, just like we like it. Snap. Trying to save those decals down there, believe it or not. I don't like to peel those off here. I like to leave that. And of course, the Cavalier, uh, the Chevrolet, and when I'll uh, spin scuff with Comet or Ajax, and uh, when I uh, go to clear it, I'll untake that. Sit that over there and find a can for that bad boy. happens right there boys Just smoking a cigarette flashing light pretender everywhere and uh, boom that would have been a real problem it was a little lower but I think we're going to be okay I actually got t-shirts on yep t-shirts 
Another you know, good tip, two shirts if you're a painter. It gives you a minute to get your shirt off in case something does get spilled on you. Shaky cam. Uh, under 40 minutes. Good. Man, damn, Sam's going bad. Here we go, boys.
guys in the saw me bust my ass there. Finish it with that. I always mix too much, so. so that's how I've been getting around this week, right here. Yep, the old cane again. So, uh, sorry, I haven't been a lot of videos, but uh, something's going on with my legs. I don't know. Brain ain't sending the right signals or. nothing that wasn't expected I'm lucky that I've uh, been able to put it off this long so hopefully it'll get better mm -hmm. we'll see so we're gonna let it clear out in there for a minute and uh, this stuff's really back to back if I had some five hardener we wouldn't even have to wait we could just go uh, one two one two right over it and pull the paper off but uh, that's the problem. I have to pull the paper off of the pinstripe there, and uh, if I do it when it's real cloudy in there, it'll overspray the back of the car. So you don't want to stack it up too thick in there. Here I have a. Uh, Got a, Tom, I got a graduation present for you when you come take the uh, wonderful world with hacking class. Huh? Look at that. You can hang that on your wall after you graduate. I've been saving this for you. So anyhow, uh, let me go take a look at it here. Jeff in a long time. 
person that he leaves comments on uh, other people's pages that I look at, but uh, I haven't heard from Jeff in a while, so. All right, guys, let's go out here and put the second coat on. that guys I'm gonna bore you with the gun plan when you go out here and I'll take a look at it 41 minutes there oh, it's a little cloudy let me grab my mask and, uh,